So let's say that I had the threading here is 13132424 no, for at least part of it. So I've counted out, let's say this is the number that I need in this particular repeat. I then take my threads from the back. I make sure I tighten. This is the only time I run my fingers along my thread. Last chance to tighten them on the back beam. All right. And then you lace your thread through. Can you see from here what I've done? Mm -hmm. I lace my thread through. I'm going to turn my hand. This provides tension. Then shaft one goes in here. Shaft one there. Shaft two here. Shaft three and shaft four. And now I have this lovely little oh collected bundle, wow. right? So amazing. I'm totally under control. I have tension on my warp yarns. I don't have to worry about finding the right one because they're under tension, so it's really easy to see. I then so say, okay, well, let's see. That one looks like it's the first one. I'm going to pull that out. And in this particular case, I know it's number one. I double it over, and I pull it through. My next thread would be number three in this particular case. Pull thread out. Find the heddle, double it over, and stick it through. Okay? So in that way, I am sure that if I've counted my heddles properly, then I know that I have the right number of heddles for that threading repeat. If I get to the end and I have an extra heddle or not enough heddles, and I count my ends and I realize I should have 18, I only got 16, I've made a mistake somewhere. And I don't have to go back to the beginning to find it. And I don't have to worry about it after I've slayed because I know I'm going to check my threading two or three times. So I'm going to go through the, sh the process of showing you again. Um, is that on your, on your YouTube? No, um, I don't think that one is. Oh, okay. I just videotaped it. <laughs> you can put it on YouTube. I'll put it on YouTube. <laughs> Deborah's YouTube. <laughs> And this is where you sort of have to play with the tension a little bit. Initially, you tend to get the tension way too hard. But turn your hand. First shaft. Second shaft. Third shaft. Fourth shaft. Okay? Working hand. Pull with the working so hand. So good. And so this hand here becomes your tool. This becomes your heddle hook. Um, I'll do it once more so you can see. So I'm going to pull. And initially, if you have too tight tension here, you're really going to feel it on your hand because it's going to yeah. burn. <laughs> All right. Pull. Bend it with that finger. Use this hand as your tool. This is your holding hand. So I use this hand to pull it out with. I use his hand to support it with. Through it goes. And I can pull it out. All right. Um, it does bend your wire heddles to some extent, depending on how hard you bend them and how many you have in your fingers at any given time. Uh, with Texol heddles, does anybody have Texol heddles that are ready to thread? No, or uh, somewhere I could just put my hands in the Texol system? No. There's heddles there, but you I don't think they're not. You might, oh, you're not, you might not want to interfere. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to interfere. Okay, I'll just go over to your loom, Joan, and show you how it works with the Texol. 